Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And it is February 13th, 2020. How about we saddle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video? Well, this morning we have kind of an interesting situation. We have the bears re-engaged here all of a sudden because of virus fears and we have a huge day of earnings reports trying to engage the bulls so we have an epic battle maybe setting up for today and let's talk about that here for just a second now the the market has been largely ignoring the virus outbreak and um I've been warning about that for some time to be really, really careful not over trading. Now this morning we're looking at a overnight reversal that's going to be kind of painful um, for a lot of folks because we're going to gap down here this morning um, in the Dow well below yesterday's move. We're going to not only gap down below its move but gap down below the um, opening gap which is a pretty substantial move lower considering we closed up 278 points yesterday and now we're going to uh, reverse all of that move so those of you who may have over traded or maybe have chased a little bit too much will feel a little bit a pain this morning now the interesting thing is we're going to have to figure out whether the earnings reports can be enough to offset these fears i don't know if that's the case but what happened overnight well last night china it's it's just kind of interesting how this story continues to old, unfold but last night china reported another 234 deaths so a um, a huge increase in death numbers but then they also um, reported nearly 15,000 new cases of the virus because they decided i guess all of a sudden well maybe we should include the clinical diagnosed cases so have they been, I mean, a diagnosed case is a diagnosed case. Have we been ignoring clinical diagnosed cases all along? How far, how vast is this spread? So major concerns coming in this morning as a result of that. And um, we had a report that global oil demand is likely to see its first quarterly decline in 10 years as a result. One of those impacts I've been kind of talking about and warning about over there in um, the most affected province in China, they've extended uh, business closures until February 21st. And Hong Kong has for the third time extended school closures as they continue to try to battle um, this outbreak. So pretty serious situation going on over there. And we can expect those impacts to really start trickling in to the market like we're beginning to see in um, oil, uh, that extension of uh, demand losses um, due to this outbreak. So pretty interesting market. Now one of the questions that I have, remember remember, guys it was just, and, and this is the diamonds, but I'm going to talk about the Dow, but it was just 10 days ago where we dropped 600 points in one day as we headed into the weekend. Now with these new fears rising up and considering the fact that we have risen 1200 points in nine days, one has to wonder if those fears come back in, if, if that comes back around and we're heading into a three day weekend, what kind of response might be possible? So the reason I'm bringing that up is not to suggest that we're just going to collapse. What I am bringing that up to do is um, remind everyone that there's probably going to be tremendous volatility. And as we head into the three day weekend, if there's no new news to improve this situation that we're seeing, we could see losses extend into that long weekend just because of that uncertainty. Now I know the Dow really wants to reach out. They, uh, the, the Dow is in this mad dash. They want, the bulls want to see 30,000. That's, they, they've probably already got the hats printed 
but it may be this little tiny microscopic virus standing in the way. We'll have to watch this pretty closely, but expect tremendous volatility um, probably through the week, the rest of the week, as we try to deal with this uncertainty um, that seems to be growing. So first off, um, yesterday we had an incredibly bullish day. Trend, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This gap down this morning could be a little bit painful, might be a little bit shocking, and don't be too surprised if it extends after the market open. Just that little bit of fear and everybody thinking about the three-day weekend and what's happening here, taking some profits and really protecting them as we head toward that weekend. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. SPY also very, very bullish day yesterday. Tremendous move up and once again uh, taking it all back um, today and then some in the gap down this morning. Now keep in mind the SPY is in a pretty good position because we've got some price support in here that's pretty substantial. So as long as we hold above those levels, I think we're in pretty good shape. But if we start to see that selling drop below here, expect a real painful um, situation if, if that were to occur. So watch that close. All morning since um, futures have opened, um, they've been trying to put on a brave face this morning and bring those futures back up. Right now Dow futures are looking um, to gap down 200 points, but they were much worse earlier this morning. And all morning long, They've been working really hard um, in the background there trying to bring those numbers back up. But so far, um, still struggling and, and looking at that 200 point gap down. So let's be kind of careful here. In the queues, in the queues, um, substantial gap down this morning. Now the queues has has been the strongest index of the market, and once again we have pretty good support levels in this chart. Now one thing that would be interesting is we had um, yesterday we had uh, some good tech earnings and some bad tech earnings. We had um, AMAT. AMAT reported a really good earnings report, gapping up about 3%. But then we had NetApp, um, whoops. So we had NetApp reporting um, um, earnings and they're gapping about 12% lower here this morning. And Cisco um, also disappointed yesterday. Um, so we'll have to see how that's going to affect the NASDAQ index. Now we have some big earnings reports coming out this morning, and I'll talk about those in just a second, but it'll be interesting to see what those effects um, uh, happen to the queues, if that kind of piles on or if we just ignore and continue to push higher in those bigger tech stocks like Apple and Amazon and Microsoft. They've been lifting the entire uh QQQ uh, pretty much on their own and they could certainly continue to do that. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM yesterday rallied up um, at the end of the day pushing right up into the price resistance um, of this chart and as you can see it's gapping down this morning taking out yesterday's um, gap up even in that open. So a little bit of bearishness coming in here. Let's take a look at the VIX. Um, the VIX yesterday really sold off nicely, finally really sold off nicely, showing that fear was dropping out of the market. And as you can see, we dropped down into this downtrend um, support and we have uh, had a big bearish uh, candle here. Now, had we seen uh, more upside this morning without this virus fear, um, I would suspect that we would continue to drop. But this morning, we're likely to see that bounce off of that area. And it won't be too severe um, unless we can break out of this area and actually hold it as support. If that were to occur, be careful because we're going to see some ugliness in the market if if that comes around. So watch that pretty closely if that were to, uh, if that's the case. But we'll expect those fears, that volatility to increase. Option traders, all of your option prices are going to go up as a result, uh, uh, go up in price as a result 
result of the volatility that we're likely to see over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at T2122. That's a four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday, even though we rallied 270 some points yesterday, we didn't get a big response in T2122. And what's in, what that tells me is that we didn't have um, a large um, breadth of the market moving things up. We had key select stocks moving the indexes higher um, with a lot of stocks kind of going flat or sideways. And now we have um, this potential uh, fear this morning. So we'll expect that to push this down significantly today. We'll want to watch that close. And it'll just be interesting to see whether the earnings reports can overcome um, that uh, bit of bearishness showing in the market this morning. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today. And our economic calendar definitely has a few things to say about the overall market. We have, this morning, we have CPI numbers. So CPI numbers will be coming out, and we have jobless claims coming out this morning, and the natural gas report. Now, I don't expect anything out of that natural gas report to really move us around at all, but certainly we could get some volatility around CPI and jobless claims. But I'm not expecting expecting those to come in bad, our economy remains very strong. Um, if we take a look, we also have a couple of Fed speakers today and we have a Fed balance sheet, but I wouldn't expect that we learn anything more out of those. Keep in mind, tomorrow we have a really big day. We've got retail sales, export, import, export, industrial production, business inventories, and consumer sentiment all tomorrow. And whether it can overcome fears of viruses yet to be seen we'll have to we'll have to wait and see um, so we have on our earnings calendar the biggest day of earnings reports today and there's a couple um, that I think will be really interesting BABA well it looks like BABA has reported and is moving lower and I was wondering how Alibaba would do um, being a, a massive Asian um, retailer if they would actually get some benefit out of the virus outbreak with more people staying home and ordering um, or whether they would um, suffer some damage it looks like we're going to gap down here a little bit on Alibaba this morning we have a lot of reports uh, today a lot of big reports that um, will be very very um, important to watch um, Roku. Roku will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on Roku. We've got NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going to be a very important uh, report to pay attention to. Uh, big tech sector stock. Uh, it'll be very interesting. We have um, AVP. A, whoops. AVP. There we go. No. I've got Oh, AIG. Sorry, AIG. Um, we've got AIG reporting this morning. Looks like they are reporting just slightly higher, a little bit of move up here in that stock. Um, we have DISH. DISH reporting today. Looks like they are moving, well, don't, don't see the report here just yet. Um, IRM reporting today. We have Mattel reporting today. We have um, Yelp reporting today. So quite a few stocks reporting uh, that could move us around and we'll want to keep an eye on all of these. Uh, KHC, I forgot KHC, Kraft, Kraft Heinz is another that will be reporting um, today. Looks like it might have already reported in gapping slightly lower this morning. So a little bit of back and forth in these earnings reports and we're continuing to see some of these damages um, or, or good reports or damages. And um, it'll be interesting to see how this virus thing continues to um, battle battle these earnings reports. So with that, everyone, let's um, 
take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that thumbs up button um, and leave a brief comment if you feel that the video is worthy. Make sure you uh, click that bell icon if you subscribe to, so that you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that. You guys are truly awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, one of the things I would be kind of curious of is whether or not you think the virus is actually um, going to be damaging to the market. That would be interesting. Just, um, just a thumbs up or thumbs down would be all that would be required to, um, it'd just be interesting to see what other folks are thinking about the virus outbreak. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and Keep in mind that a lot of these are going to be changing dramatically this morning um, because of this gap down. Let's take a look at home. Home we caught yesterday in right way options looking at this uh, breakout. There's that downtrend break, nice little tight consolidation, holding trend. Those are things that I always look for. And what I um, was looking for is that break above that pink line. That's my alert in that chart. So breaking higher here this and moving on up in this trend. Now, I'm expecting this to pull back um, today uh, just because of um, the pressures that's on the market. But let's keep in mind if it can hold support in here, we still have this big upside gap that could be filled, and I want to keep an eye on that chart. Newmont Mining, I mentioned yesterday, and Newmont went the other direction yesterday, kind of pushing down. So it didn't trigger the alert, but I want to point out this morning that that is reversing. Keep an eye on here. Um, Newmont gapping up this morning could be coming very close to that alert as some of these fears start to creep back into the market we could see these gold stocks gold miners and things like that moving back up so let's watch that close Newmont trying to gap back up this morning um, in that move uh, take a look at shack shack still looking pretty good holding up nice little tight consolidation in here looking pretty good um, it could be affected today as well but you can see this is setting up nicely for that upside move and potentially filling this gap keep an eye on that chart mnk is another one that you might want to keep an eye on this broke down through uh, a price support as you can see but rallying back up holding in this trend tightening up in here really tightly we might want to watch this if that starts breaking through that resistance um, in the chart um, keep a close eye on it OSTK made a, a nice move yesterday moving up it looks like it's going to gap down this morning though with this virus news creating some issues here but um, OSTK is one of those round of bottom breakout patterns here and the critical point at this um, time is it has to break through this resistance. If it, That's going to be the struggle. If we can break through that resistance, then we've got some great upside potential in this stock. But of course, everything's going to be affected today by the virus outbreak, and we're going to have to um, uh, pay attention to that. So a lot of these stocks could change dramatically as the day goes on. Uh, take a look at Monster. Monster continuing to set up here. This is a beautiful, tight consolidation. I call this a pop out of the box. Um, you can just draw this nice little tiny box around this tight consolidation, and I am waiting for that break. Where the reason I'm bullish on this is obviously the trend continues to be very bullish. So I'm watching for that opportunity for this stock to maybe pop on out of there. Whether it can do that today um, amidst all the virus situation, that's going to be a question, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, all of the beverage companies um, holding up pretty well. Coca-Cola, you can see, caught a little bit of a pullback yesterday, but it's really more of a consolidation um, holding up pretty well overall, so kind of keep an eye on those. Been watching J&J &J here closely. It slipped a little bit yesterday, and it looks like it's slipping a little bit this morning and that's why we place an alert and literally make the trade come to us we don't try to predict when that trade is going to trigger we wait for it and this uh, sloppiness in the market that we're seeing because of virus could take this down and uh, throw this right off the list as a possible trade but we'll want to keep an eye on it another chart you might want to keep an eye on is Twitter Twitter had a really good day yesterday um, it, it uh, gapped on earnings 
pulled way back and pulled back further than I really like to see and then um, popped back up and this line I have in here is just marking the um, low of that gap up morning on earnings and you can see this morning it looks like it's going to pull back a little bit here on Twitter so be kind of careful um, how this outbreak may affect a lot of these stocks but things to watch keep a keep a close eye on that SPLK continuing to hold up in here you can see it's still holding in here according to where it's going to open and you can see holding up here nicely that's worth keeping an eye on SPC I think is probably done with its move for now needs a little rest consolidation or pullback so um, but that's still worthy of keeping an eye on that Best Buy move beautiful move there in Best Buy watch for a little rest consolidation or pullback Home Depot is a beautiful looking chart breaking through big price resistance levels here in the chart and now with this virus thing may pull back and finally consolidate over here toward its trend let's watch that closely but home depot could certainly set up if it just rests here for a while how about um, crwd crwd continuing to move on up since we alerted on this and trying to push higher this morning kind of pulling back just a little bit like a lot of stocks are likely going to do this morning so could be a tough day dow futures are um, still dancing around that 200 down um, area we'll want to watch that pretty closely everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day be really careful um, don't over trade this market this volatility is going to be pretty rough and could be really extreme so be really careful protect that capital and i want to wish you all a fantastic day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. <laughs> Have a good one.